Hello, I'm Professor Williams at William Jessup University, and we've been talking to you about empathy as a core component to transformational leadership. Now today I want to particularly talk to you about how we respond empathetically to those we lead, especially in difficult and challenging conversations. Now research tells us something quite fascinating. First of all, research demonstrates that the more responsibilities a leader takes on, the attribute of empathy actually decreases within them. Research also tells us at the same time that the more emotionally intelligent a person is, i.e. the ability to empathize with others, the more potential that person has to be a transformational type leader. The type of, leaders that, the type of leader that is able to invest in and develop their team members while effectively leading their teams. Now this creates quite an irony, don't you think? If emotional intelligence or the ability to empathize with others is a key attribute for transformational leadership, then why are so many leaders demonstrating less and less empathy as they take on more and more leadership responsibilities? Well, as we all know, leadership is not easy. Leaders take hits, leaders get beat up, right? Uh, leaders get criticized and often misunderstood. And sometimes I think it just feels easier, if not safer, to keep those we lead at an emotional distance. Well, I've been studying leadership for a very long time. I've served in different leadership roles, and I have found the profound superpower, if you will, of one simple word. And this word continues to be the most used tool in my leadership toolbox. I literally cannot effectively lead without it. And that word is differentiation. In leadership, differentiation is the ability to do two things at once, to genuinely empathize with others, to genuinely make them feel heard and cared for and understood, at the same time, not burning ourselves out, at the same time, not losing our own sense of self or taking on too much responsibility for that person. And this is important because as we said, leaders take hits, right? Sometimes people project their agendas onto us, uh, we're often misunderstood. Sometimes we have to disappoint some people. And most of the time, people just don't understand the bigger picture that leaders carry. However, in all these complexities, if we want to be a transformational type leader, the type of leader that effectively leads our teams and invest in the members of our teams and develops them personally, we have to be able to empathize with them but we also have to be able to identify what is not ours to own. How do we do this? As Professor Moga said a couple weeks ago, we lean into these difficult conversations and we truly listen. And then as Professor Gallego said last week, we show people that we care about them as people, not just the jobs they do. And we do this all the while maintaining our own personhood. We open our hearts to them but we, we don't absorb their opinions, their complexities, their struggles as our own. And when we're able to truly emotionally connect, not pretend, not keep ourselves at a distance, but truly emotionally connect with those we lead while maintaining our own personhood and our own responsibilities, we are practicing differentiation in our leadership. We are connected, but separate, not either or. When we do this, people will know that you hear them and you care about them and you understand them even if you disagree with them and have to be firm on some decisions. Ultimately, differentiation allows you to respond empathetically to others as well as yourself. You see, it's a tool that every leader needs. So I wanna ask you, what does differentiation look like in your leadership context? How can you genuinely connect and care for others while maintaining your own personhood along the way? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thanks for joining us today.